Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in the style of Thomas Mrozkowitz or Thomas Moreau for short and you'll see in Photopia I have already opened up a photograph of myself and I'm just magic wanding the background and pressing delete to get rid of the background okay um, I'm now wanting to separate the head and neck from the rest isolate it so I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool and I'm going to cut around the edge of my t-shirt and up across my beard because I'm going to be doing something with my beard and then around the head And back down and then I'm going to control C to copy that layer and control V to paste that layer and if I just zoom out I can show you I've got two layers now one with just the head and the neck okay first thing I'm going to do is turn that black and white image adjustments black and white then I'm going to go image adjustments brightness and contrast and I'm going to bring the brightness right up and the contrast up a bit um, I'm just trying to get an image that is quite light, like a light sketch. And then I'm going to go to Filter, Filter Gallery. And I'm going to just zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to go down to Accented Edges in the Brush Strokes folder. And I'm going to make sure that I bring the brightness of the edges right down the smoothness about 70% of the way up and the edge width a little bit higher up. Um, you're going to have to play with these settings depending on your own photograph but the idea is to just make it look like there's some drawn lines around the edges of your portrait. Okay so it makes it look a little bit more like a sketched drawing. Okay. I'm just going to quickly go to image adjustment levels. I'm just going to play around with these as well to make the darker lines really stand out and really push back the tone so there's not much there. Okay. Again, you're going to have to play with this until you get the desired result. Okay. Once you're happy. And obviously click OK and that's good. Next thing we want to do is to put a stroke around that layer. So we're going to double click on the layer and we're going to go to stroke and we're going to make sure I've got it about six pixels and I haven't got it jet black. I've got it like a, a very dark grey. Okay. I don't really want it to be solid, solid dark black. Okay. Right, next up, I want to put the hair in, which in um, the artist's work is in yellow. So I am going to make a new layer down in the bottom right. And I'm going to zoom on in so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to grab the brush tool and I'm going to make sure I've got it quite small so I can put some detail in and then I'm just going to roughly draw in as if I was using a felt tip pen the edges of my beard how much detail how long you want to spend on this is completely up to you to make the edges of your hair look as realistic as you want them to for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just happy to uh, quickly put in what I suppose some would say is quite cartoony edges to my beard. And I'm not too worried about bits of the beard that I miss either, because those are going to be uh, covered over soon. Okay, or deleted out. Okay, right. 
getting close to being finished. Once I'm finished, I'm going to want to fill this in. And obviously, you would immediately think, oh, I'm just going to go to the fill tool and just fill it in. But I find it leaves these kind of edges between the fill and the line you've just created. So what I'm going to do is go to Select Modify and just expand the selection just by one pixel. And I'm going to press Delete to get rid of anything that's within that. And then I'm going to fill that in. Okay, and it gets you a really good fill. As I say, you could just fill it in. You can play with that. Okay, right. So now I need to show my mouth. So leaving my beard layer invisible for a minute, I'm going to go to the lasso tool. And I'm just going to draw the other side of my beard, the bottom of my moustache and beard below my mouth. And just go round that. Again, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm being a little bit cartoony. You could take more time over this get quite a lot of detail and then once you're back at the beginning you can then bring that layer back make sure you're on that layer and then press delete and it will then remove that okay I'm just going to deselect my mask because the next thing I want to do is put a stroke on that layer as well so I'm going to double click the layer click stroke all my settings are still there so I'm just going to click OK and I have my beard done and dusted. Okay. All right, next up, I want to sort out my T-shirt. Turn that yellow too. So I'm going to get the polygonal lasso tool. And I'm going to start clicking just above my T-shirt. Because I'm going to be deleting this out. And I don't want any of the T-shirt to be showing. And in this instance, I can cut straight across. Because I've already isolated the head and the beard. And again, across the other side of the shoulder, just above. And then down. And over. And up again. And stop. Okay. And making sure I'm on my background layer. I'm going to press delete basically get rid of my t-shirt and I'm going to use the paint bucket to fill that area with yellow okay and as I say because I have my beard and my head already isolated it's gone underneath and now I want to put a stroke on that so I'm going to double click that layer go to stroke and the same settings are there so I just need to click OK and that's given a stroke okay now I'm just going to do a little bit of clean up where I can see my beard behind I'm just going to grab the polygonal lasso tool and just click underneath the beard and over and then up. And I might as well grab that little bit there too. And then making sure I'm on the background layer, I press delete and there you go, cleaned up. Okay, right now I want to put some butterflies into my piece. Okay. So I have gone to the internet and I've found three pictures of Red Admiral butterflies. And before I do anything else, I'm going to color them. So I'm going to image adjustments, black and white, click OK, then image adjustments, color balance. And I want them to be yellow. So I'm turning the blue right down, click OK. They don't look great at the moment, so I go image adjustments, hue saturation, and I whip the saturation right up. And then lastly, image adjustments, brightness and contrast, and whip the contrast right up. Click OK, and I'm good to go. So I'll get the rectangular select tool, select the whole thing, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and then I'm going to move that up to the sky where it kind of looks like I'm looking at it. Okay, just position that where I want. Right, next butterfly, same process. Image adjustments, black and white, click OK. Image adjustments, color balance, bring the blue right down, click OK. 
image adjustments hue saturation bring the saturation right up and then image adjustments brightness and contrast and bring the contrast right up okay get the rectangular select tool again select it all control c to copy and control and v to paste I'm just going to swivel this. I want this to look like it's down on my t-shirt. Make sure it's sized to be a similar size to the other butterfly. And once you're done, last butterfly, same process. Image adjustments, black and white, okay. Image adjustments, color balance, whip down the blue, click okay. Image adjustments, Hue saturation, whip up the saturation, image adjustments, brightness and contrast, and whip up the contrast. Okay. Right, rectangular select. Select it all. Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and I'm going to have this one sitting on my head. So it's a bit big, so I'm just going to shrink that down and plop that there. Okay, last thing I need to do is put a background in, so new layer, and drag that all the way down to the bottom, and then grab the white and the paint bucket, and click, and it fills in the whole of the background. And that is my piece done and dusted, and that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you find it helpful.